Hi. I'm going to speak about what is new in the new WHO classification of soft tissue tumor full screen, of please. 2020. Renato, full screen, please. Full screen? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Do you see it? Perfect. 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 Okay. Perfect. Uh, soft tissue tumor are difficult to diagnose because there are more than 100 uh, uh, histotype of uh, tumors, some uh, which are uh, seen only in few cases. Uh, often they show peculiar clinical features. New knowledges are always in progress. Soft tissue tumor, benign mesenchymal tumors outnumbers malignant tumors of a factor of at least 100 to 1. So the annual incidence of benign tumor about uh, 3,000 cases for 1 million, while malignant tumors account for about 50 cases for 1 million. So they are less than 1% of all malignant tumors. In Italy, we see about uh, 2,500 new cases of sarcoma every year. The new WHO classification of uh, bone and soft tissue 2020 have been issued this year in January. As I told the last year, I would expect it to find uh, some tumor like bif biphenotypic sinonasal sarcoma, rab histiocyte rich rhabdomyoblastic tumor, and gastrointestinal neurodermal tumor. But I was disappointed because they are not in this issue. Uh, the most important, anyway, there are more, uh, there are some significant changes in, the, in this classification. Some entities have moved from uh, an histotype to another, uh, such as uh, uh, acral fibromyxoma and ectomesenchymoma. Some new entities have been added. More genetic data have been added too. Uh, the most important uh, changes uh, regard these uh, new entities uh, with uh, some genetic data. A typical spindle cell pleomorphic lipomatous tumor, myxoid pleomorphic liposarcoma, EWS SMAT3 positive fibroblastic tumor, superficial CD34 positive fibroblastic tumor, giant cell tumor of soft tissue in which there are new genetic data, anastomosing hemangioma, and EBV associated smooth muscle tumor, and inflammatory lyomyosarcoma, and NTRAC rearranged spindle cell neoplasm which is an emerging category. Between adipocyte tumor, there are two new entities, which are atypical spindle cell pleomorphic lipomatous tumor and myxoid pleomorphic liposarcoma. Atypical spindle cell pleomorphic lipomatous tumor was, were first described by Datos in 1994 and designed uh, as a spindle cell liposarcoma because of the presence of lung metastasis in uh, those cases. Now we know that uh, um, they are not so malignant. They affect more male than female. The anatomic distribution of the tumor is wide, uh, usually affecting the limbs and limb girdles, with an equal distribution between uh, subcutaneous and deeper location. Uh, all cases are formed by a proliferating uh, atypical cell in uh, myxoid or collagenous stroma with a variation in the uh, um, cellular uh, size, nuclear atypia, and frequent li lipoblast. Tumor margins are often ill-defined with invasion into surrounding tissue. Of course, they are positive for CD34, but they can also be positive for S100 and uh, uh, Desmin. Uh, the amplification MDM2 or CDK4 are never uh, found in this tumor. None of the patients developed tumor metastasis or died of disease. Risk of local recurrence is low at about 13%. There is no risk of the differentiation, unlike a typical lipomatous tumor in general. Myxoid pleomorphic liposarcoma is a very rare aggressive adipocyte tumor, which interests usually uh, children and adolescents. Uh, with the predilection for the mediastinum, uh, it has been associated with Lifraumeni syndrome, which uh, numerical chromosome aberration with inactivation or retinoblastoma 1 tumor suppressor gene. They are extremely aggressive uh, with high 
uh, rate of recurrence and metastasis to lung, bone, soft tissue, and uh, a poor overall survival. They are composed of classical low-grade myxoid liposarcoma-like uh, area, but there, there is also a transition into much more cellular and pleomorphic area with striking cytologic atypia and lipoblast. They lack the, the fusion EWS uh, chop uh, typical of myxoid liposarcoma, but and also the amplification of DM2 typical of uh, uh, the differentiated liposarcoma of uh, or uh, low grade liposarcoma. So myxoid pleomorphic liposarcoma represent an altogether new subtype of liposarcoma. Uh, between fibroblastic and myfibroblastic tumor, there is a new uh, entity with uh, a new genetic data. In fact, the name is EWS R1 SMAT3 positive fibroblastic tumor. It's a benign tumor which usually affects the hands and feet of patients. Uh, uh, the location is in the dermis or subcutaneous fat with a, a wide age range uh, with a slight uh, female predilection. None of the patients develop the uh, metastatic disease. Local recurrence may occur after incomplete excision. Uh, they, this kind of tumor usually have an infilt as an infiltrative border with a distinctive zonation pattern with hypercellular periphery, then a transition to hypocellular collagenous area and a cellular central zone. Uh, this tumor is negative for smooth muscle actin, CD34, CD31, and S100, but show a, a consistent expression of ERG of uncertain meaning. Of course, it has a, a fusion of, of EWS R1 SMAD3, which characterizes this entity. Um, between fibroblastic and myfibroblastic tumor, this, there is another new entity, which is low-grade superficial CD34 positive fibroblastic tumor. Uh, it's a tumor of low-grade borderline malignancy. It affects school, uh, skin or subcutaneous uh, tissue, usually the lower extremity. It's a slow-growing painless mass. Fewer than 40 cases have been reported so far. Uh, usually affect uh, middle-aged adults with a slight male predominance. The prognosis is, is excellent with only one case with a lymph node metastasis. All patients are alive and disease-free so far. Uh, these two, uh, the cell of this tumor are spindle to epithelioid with abundant eosinophilic cytoplasm, often having an unusual glassy appearance. This tumor is, of course, positive for CD34. Any one is uh, also positive, and the, uh, there can be a positive for cytokeratin, usually AE1, AE3. There is no molecular data on this tumor, and negative for all the genes known. A only one case of CD34 positive fibroblastic tumor metastasized to a regional lymph node. Distant metastasis have not been found so far. Giant cell tumors of tissue. Giant cell tumors of tissue is similar morphologically, clinically, clinically to giant cell tumor of bone, but the difference is in genetic. In fact, the current data revealed no mutation of H3F3A gene in any of giant cell tumor of soft tissue. So maybe they are different kind of tumor. Anastomosing hemangioma is a recently described uh, tumor of vessel you, uh, found in kidney, retroperitoneal adipose tissue, genitourinary sites, paravertebral soft tissue, which may be confused with uh, well-differentiated angiosarcoma. On CT scan, show a well-delineated -delin paracaval mass, grossly the lesion is circumscribed, solid, and vascular in appearance. Uh, the tumor cells tend to infiltrate the surrounding tissue, but uh, with uh, uh, delineated margins, Medium power view show anastomosing 
vascular channels lined by slightly prominent normochromatic endothelial cells. And high power, we can see obneal endothelial cells, but without any kind of mitotic activity. And then there are smooth muscle uh, of uncertain malignant potential, which are ABV associated uh, smooth muscle tumor and malignant like inflammatory leiomyosarcoma. Epstein-Barr virus associated the smooth muscle tumor manifests typically in uh, the setting of uh, immunodeficiency. There are three major subtypes, uh, HIV uh, associated uh, smooth muscle tumor after transplantation or associated with congenital immunodeficiency syndrome. HIV associated SMT have a particular predilection for the central nervous system, while post transplant uh, SMT involve usually liver, lungs, and gastrointestinal tract. All of them can be frequently multicentric. Uh, the, the appearance is similar to other smooth muscle tumor of other side of the body, with uh, spindle cell, with uh, elongated nuclei, coarse chromatin, mild atypia, but regardless of the only mild atypia, they have a certain mitotic activity ranging uh, between one and six mitosis for 10 high power fields. Of course, to make the diagnosis is necessary to demonstrate EBV by Eber in situ hybridization. The prognosis is mainly dependent on the condition of uh, the individual patient's immune system. Most of these tumors do not metastasize. Inflammatory myosarcoma is a very rare uh, tumor composed of spindle uh, smooth muscle cells uh, with a dense infiltrate. Usually affect deep soft tissue, most commonly lower limb, trunk, retroperitoneum, usually interest adults uh, uh, with a median age of 35, 40 years uh, uh, with a, re a relative male predominance. They are composed of spindle cell intermingled with the lymphocytes and macrophage. They show a diffuse strong uh, um, immunopositivity for desmin, a variable expression of smooth muscle actin, Follow-up data are limited due to its uh, rarity. Among 20 cases with follow-up, uh, only four have metastatized. Uh, a new entity of uncertain malignant potential is uh, n track rearranged spindle cell neoplasm, which, uh, as I told before, is an emerging category. n track rearranged uh, um, spindle cell neoplasm <coughs> are, uh, of course, uh, molecularly driven. Most tumors occur in the first two decades of life. The prognosis appears to be related to histological grade. Tumors with high grade may show an aggressive behavior with metastatic spread to lungs and other organs. Due to aberrant expression of receptor tyrosine kinase, and track rearranged sarcoma have proven to be therapeutically targetable with the potential improve a patient's outcome. There is a wide morphologic spectrum, one of which is a lipofibromatosis-like uh, uh, tumor, composed of uh, alpha-zard rearranged monomorphic spindle cells with indistinct cytoplasm, a highly infiltrative pattern. Another instead is uh, composed of solid groove pattern of uniform spindle cells with stromal bands and perivascular rings of yalinite collagen. They are positive, uh, said before, uh, for S100 and CD34, also positive for, of course, for the antibody and track. And to make this diagnosis, you have to demonstrate with fish the fusion between keep PM3 and, and track. Thank you for your attention.